Science, Technology and Facilities Council, or STFC, in their recent programmatic review, have decided to rank Jodrell Bank, Merlin and eMerlin facilities as low priority. At best, this decision is misguided, and at worst, well, decide for yourself. Merlin and eMerlin are the only facilities in the world able to rival the Hubble Space Telescope for resolution. By combining telescopes as far apart as Manchester and Cambridge, they're able to gain insights into the universe that is just not possible anywhere else on Earth. But Jodrell Bank is not just about scientific research. It is a national symbol of innovation and discovery. For over 50 years, it has captured the imagination of the public and inspired people of all ages from all over the world to take an interest in astronomy and science in general. This is why it is such a shame that just about as it's about to take its first step into a new age of radio astronomy, the STFC has seen fit to pull the plug on its funding. In the past year alone, 70,000 people have visited the site and they have all taken away with them a little piece of history and a better understanding of how their universe works. And if this is the impact it has on the general public, imagine how people who are more closely associated with the site feel. I can remember going to Jodrell Bank when I was a kid, um, back with my family and also with my school. And it was one of the first things that got me interested in science, um, and especially in physics in general. And later on, um, when deciding which universities I wanted to go to, um, Jodrell Bank was an attraction that pulled me towards Manchester. Um, it's a major icon of the North West, and it's a bit of a joke the way they've gone about this, really. Um, with the, S the STFC's decision on uh, putting it in the low priority category, it hasn't even been peer reviewed. They haven't asked other people what they think. It's been done entirely on a committee basis, which is, goes against scientific practices. It's everything in science is peer reviewed. Public publications, books, works. Why hasn't this? It would be really shocking to see Jodrell Bank shut down as a result of this, um, this action. I remember going on a school trip to Jodrell Bank in primary school. I remember there being loads of experiments that you could do. So it was a really interactive, hands-on kind of day. And I remember it made science just seem really fun and exciting. I think it's a really important educational resource and it would be a real shame for how to close because I think a lot of kids would miss out on a really great day. Um, I was a summer student working at Jodrell Bank last year and it was really quite amazing to be working in an environment with the level of telescope in the background. Uh, it really inspired me and now I've actually applied to do my PhD here in Manchester because of it. Um, I'm also using Merlin for my MFIS project this year. We're taking observations and without Merlin we can't really progress our project. So it's, to me especially, it's really very vital that we continue this work and it will be an awful thing if they shut it down. Even though not a physicist, um, I'm really disappointed that Jodrell Bank has been threatened through funding things because I know it's, it's world around and it's actually a, a really big factor that draws students to the University of Manchester and I think that the close relationship it's got with the students and with the academic department I think it's, it's really disappointing that this situation is going on. Last summer I uh, worked at an international summer school uh, in Shropshire and uh, I was teaching science, uh, maths, physics and chemistry to international students uh, from all, all over the world um, from sort of ages 11 up to 17 and we organised two sort of day outings to Jodrell Bank and um, I was lucky enough to have worked there the previous year so I was able to give sort of a behind the scenes tour of um, what's going on at Jodrell and all the recent research and it was amazing to see how inspirational it was to the kids not just because the sort of grandeur and scale of the Lovell Telescope but also to see that it, it's maintained its sort of footing at the forefront of astronomy and astrophysics and just seeing the kids faces light up when you can show them sort of research that wasn't yet published that was brand new that was exciting that had just been received by the telescope and i can only say that cutting the funding from the e Merlin project is less than myopic i mean not only because of the effect it would have on john Earl banks footing and the uk's footing in terms of astronomy radio astronomy and, and astrophysics but also because of its sort of motivational aspect on the effect that it has on people who might not want to study physics. If you are as disgusted as we are by the decision to rank one of the focal points of world astronomy as low priority, then here's what you can do. Firstly, you can sign the petition on the Downing Street website. Secondly, you can write a letter to your MP 
voicing your disgust. Thirdly, you can embed or link to this video on your website or blog to raise awareness about the campaign. Finally, for all this information and more, you can visit www.savejodrellbank.org.uk. The important thing is to take action, let the STFC know how we feel, and save Juggle Bank.